see. I will need, please, to be in, uh, all of us to be in order so that I can sort you out. Okay? Airport security had a hard time containing the battery of journalists and Jalimo's relatives, all who wanted a little over time before she left the airport. Within airport buildings, at least three cabinet ministers were among the welcoming party, and it was hard to tell whether these high-ranking policemen were here to protect the politicians or to welcome Jalimo, who after all is a police officer. All was calm as people craned necks to see her, and as soon as she appeared, some policemen became overzealous. Attempts by relatives and friends to welcome the hero with the traditional ululations and cheers were muffled by security men who were only too eager to lead her away to the VIP lounge. At the press conference, nothing but praise emerged from the lips of those who spoke. This is an example for other young Kenyans who are talented to take the cue and give us the pride that Jelima has given us. She has demonstrated that from a very humble beginning, you can become something. We are so very proud of you. We are so glad that our country has been put on the top of, of the world. Thank you for all uh, the reception that you've given me today. Actually, with your support, I thank you. And because I can, without your support, we could not, uh, as, for, as for myself, I could not have done my best. Her mother, Rhoda Shibet, declined to talk but agreed to hug her daughter for the camera. From there, it was touch and go to the exit where even more jubilant relatives and friends were waiting to do the customary jig with their hero. But what followed wasn't exactly what they expected. Unlike tradition, Jalim was hurriedly given the traditional milk to sip. And before she could acknowledge their presence, she was whisked away to a waiting car. At this point, the relatives and well-wishers couldn't take it anymore, and they accosted the minister herself. <laughs> Professor Sambili talked them down a bit, but seeing no quick respite, she was gone, leaving behind very bitter admirers. In fact, we have people from Transoia, from Wazingishu, from all over Rift Valley, even Nandi, that are all waiting for Chelimo to, to land here for a serious celebration. The, the grandmothers who are here, honestly, they cried because they wanted to hug this lady, even to say hi, even to see her. Pamela Jalimo's immense success on the track has given her instant fame worldwide and a VIP status in Kenya. But the success comes the challenges and has left the government at a loss. Where do they draw the line between giving her VIP protection and letting her people celebrate her victory with her? Ferdinand Mondi, Citizen TV, at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport.